Hello, Loveland. I'm here with Tom Quigley in the Loveland Magazine uh, TV studios, and uh, I wanted to present, uh, have Tom present kind of a unique challenge. Um, background of this is that, uh, oh, shoot, I'm going to have to do this with my other hand, is that I published a story in Loveland Magazine. Uh, I guess it was only two sentences long last week. And uh, the headline was, No Fourth of July Parade or Fireworks in Loveland this year. And uh, the story was, because of budget cuts, City Hall is out of the Fourth of July organizing this year. There will be no Fourth of July Parade or Fireworks in Loveland. Uh, and it, really, uh, part of that is, um, it's not a totally truthful story, because I think, as, as Tom has pointed out, that it's not only because of budget cuts, it's because people in Loveland haven't, haven't uh, risen to the cause and uh, organized to provide for fireworks. We expect City Hall to do it, and, and uh, we, knew, we knew there weren't going to be fireworks, but no one, you know, presented a challenge to us. So I'm going to let you speak here in a minute. Uh, so what Tom did is presented a challenge to the, the Loveland City Manager, and I'm going to read um, parts of it here. Uh, Tom said in an email, it was to city council, copied to the city manager, it says, I find it sad that the fireworks have been canceled. Instead of listening to me, Tom will explain this, how to save the budget, you listen to Mr. Carroll, who got you to increase the free money you give to each employee and continue to get hosed on health insurance premiums. Meanwhile, Tom says, the town and the citizens suffer because of the mismanagement that goes on in Loveland. Uh, so let's get this straight. No fireworks, lost the amazing race, and Halloween. If it is to look out for Loveland, then do what the citizens want. Get rid of this joke, Mr. Carroll, because he is costing you and every other person who lives or comes to Loveland to enjoy festivals and businesses in town. The funniest part of all, he wants to leave, but no one will take him up on his offer. You've given him a raise, and he cuts another event. So here's the meat of what you've done, Tom. I challenge Mr. Carroll do a boxing match for charity to save the fireworks and give the rema remaining money to charity. Mr. Carroll, you tell my employees you don't like me, so, so this is your big chance to do something about it, and the town can watch me whip your butt for charity. Tom says, I'm dead serious about the charity event. I will have my attorney draft the waivers. Tom, your turn. Well, it, it's sad. I mean, you have the citizens of Loveland who are unknowingly being fleeced by the city uh, manager. Uh, I showed the city how they could take $3,000 that they're giving each employee and 6000 for their family, still give it to them if they use their medical benefit. If they don't, the city keeps that money. Instead, every single person, the taxpayers, like it or not, you are giving the employees in Loveland free money. Uh, every year, it was 2000 4000 So we came in and showed them how not to do that. We were going to do it at no cost and literally uh, give our fees to uh, scholarships for the um, school district uh, for kids. Unfortunately, Mr. Carroll wanted three and six thousand dollars given to each employee and they're also squandering including himself is including part of what oh, you're saying absolutely um and some people are going to use it there's no doubt about it it's not it's being used but not every single person is using three thousand dollars worth of health insurance uh claims every year um and if if um if i can explain it the way i understand tell me if i'm wrong the money currently goes to an account that's set up for this employee, like an IRA account. Exactly. They keep it forever. If they leave the city, oh, yeah. they take it with them. It's their money. And you're, you, you say that it should be put in an account at City Hall. Exactly. If they use it, they use it. But if they don't use it, it's not their money. That's correct. It's the taxpayer's money. 
it's there for them to use. Right, and I mean, you're not talking. I mean, you're talking to somebody who's written a book on this, how to beat the high cost of healthcare, with my attorney and my wife. And our second book should be out in two weeks, how to beat Obamacare. Uh, the other part that was that just that alone would have saved a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand dollars to the city. Would have uh, kept the flowers, the plants, uh, the gentleman who lost his job, and also it would have kept. Uh, the fireworks. And you say there's other local, uh, such as school districts and, and other local companies oh. that are using this plan. Well, you know, just in Loveland alone, we have a Rossi fireworks, uh, Bond Furniture, Paxton's, uh, Blue Chip, which used to be downtown, Clayworks has uh, listened to us, Sims Chiropractic, uh, Lawn Systems, uh, and there's numerous other people we've helped. Mm -hmm. um, but when we Gave those names to the city. Mr. Carroll said, that, um, actually, Mr. Carroll's under, Mr. Duckworth, I believe it was, said those weren't uh, enough. They needed more people. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, they even asked us for 400 references. And it was, they had no interest. And, and you said the city manager is recommending this because he himself gets the, oh, the absolutely. money, so it's a conflict of interest in that. Really, city council. You've challenged city council to be a little bit independent on this. Yes, well, uh, absolutely. So I think that explains that. Yeah. Uh, so I've got a couple other questions sure. for you that I've written down. Uh, fisticuffs. I feel that uh, Mr. Carroll uh, has cost the town a lot of money, and I think it would be a heck of a fundraiser to have a little boxing match. Uh, I got it from one of my clients, actually, uh, Eric Dieters. Uh, did this with a cop over in Indiana. They did uh, the ultimate fighting. Uh, I'm not saying that. Just a little boxing match. Uh, have have a little fun with it. Raise some money um, so the fireworks aren't lost. The beautification is there, and uh -huh. people will pay money because Mr. Carroll is not well liked in this town. So, so I think you've answered my second question. It will be with gloves, and it won't be bare knuckles. He, he can choose. Uh, I right. prefer. Uh, you know, I don't really care. It's up to him. MMA rules? Whatever he wants to do. WBA? Whatever. I have in. I'm in. I, uh, you know, it's a little different having the gloves versus, you know, I have the gloves when I play my ice hockey. But, hey, Mr. Carroll, uh, I, all I ask is, hey, if you're not going to use the money wisely in the budget and continue to distract businesses from town, let's ha let the public have a little fun because you're taking everything away from them. Well, and actually, uh, I think this is a grand idea, and uh, not Love Them Magazine, but David Miller personally will donate $200 towards some, some missiles that go up in the air. And I think you may need to raise up to, to between ten dollars and $20,000, cover the fireworks, uh, maybe $3,000 for city employee time, the overtime and stuff. Uh, and Mike Shannon, who uh, has a workout studio next next door yeah, personal like, training yeah. uh with a full spectrum fitness he says he will donate some training <clears throat> for mr carroll if sure. mr carroll feels like he needs some to bulk sure. up or anything before the event so who knows who else in town will really contribute well, I, I really you know want them to have fireworks this year so uh, you know this would have to happen uh, rapidly right. where, where do you envision this boxing match oh, to take have place? It right down in the park down in Nesbitt Park. Park? Sure, let the local vendors have uh, a day of it, you know, burgers and everything. Because um, they've lost enough money because the Amazing Race and the Halloween and the homecoming that he decided to cancel the one year after the storm and now the 4th of July. And it's unfortunate um, and it needs to stop. I mean, he doesn't even want to be here. He's right. applied at various different school um, cities. Let them go. And, uh, you know, the citizens, you, you should be outraged with how they're mismanaging money. I, I say bring in a uh, local town person who's a CPA or a tax attorney and let them do an unbiased audit on what they're doing and see the things that they're missing out on. I'm sure there's, if you're giving away free money as simple as that, what else is being mismanaged? Okay. Um, Fourth of July is coming up pretty quick. How do people contact you if they want to get involved with this? I would, uh, my email uh, address is T Quigley, Q U I G L E Y, at claimlink, C L A I M L I N X dot com. 
and I also have several people who are willing to put money up um, to save the fireworks and hopefully we can uh, address uh, this rapidly. Okay, Loveland Magazine will also do whatever we can to promote this event and, and yeah. see if we can get some fireworks going. Appreciate uh, it. Tom. You know, pink gloves, brown gloves, I don't care, no gloves, whatever. We'll put the, put the meaning <laughs> into red, white, and boom. That's right. All right. I got you. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Take care.